Hi students, today I am going to start a new chapter, the triangle and its properties. In this chapter, today I am discussing medians of a triangle and altitudes of a triangle. Let me draw a closed figure using three line segments. This figure you can call it as triangle. So triangle you can define as this line segment we can call it as sides. A triangle has three sides, three angles and three vertices. They are here the sides are AB and BC a C A or A C. Now the angles are angle A we can call it as angle B A C we can written as B A C angle B A C. This angle you can write it as angle A B C and this angle you can write it as angle B C A. There are three angles. Now the vertices are this point A B and C. Here three sides and three angles we can call it as six elements of the triangle. Consider the vertex A and side BC. Here side BC is called side opposite to the vertex A. Now can you say what is the side opposite to the vertex B? Yes, it is AC. Now what is the side opposite to vertex C? It is AB. Similarly, you can say the angles opposite to each vertex. Sorry, angle opposite to each side. Now tell me what is the angle opposite to side BC? The angle opposite to side BC is angle A. Then what is the angle opposite to side AC? Yes, it is angle B. Or what is the angle opposite to side AB? Which is angle C. Now you can classify the triangle based on the length of the sides and measure of the angles. Look at the sides. Here 7, 7 units, 10 units and 8 units. All the 3 lengths are different. Three sides are different. Then this triangle we can call it as scaling triangle. Now let us change the sides. Here two sides are equal. Such a triangles we can call it as isosceles triangle. Now look at the length of the sides. All sides are equal, 7 units. This kind of triangles we can call it as equilateral triangle. Now based on angles also, we can classify the triangles. Now look at the measure of the angles. Here, the measure of the angles, 60 degree, 81 degree, 38 degree. 61 degree, 81 degree, 38 degree. These three angles are acute. So this triangle we can call it as acute angle the triangle based on its angles. Now let me change this triangle. Here angle B is 126 degree. It is an obtuse angle. If one angle is obtuse, that triangle we can call it as 
obtuse angled triangles. Now, if one angle is equal to 90 degree, this angle we can call it as right angled triangle. That is based on sides, scaling, isosceles, and equilateral triangles, and based on angles, acute angled, obtuse angled, and right angled triangles. Now, you can write these two questions. Write the six elements, that is three sides and three angles of triangle ABC. Draw a small triangle ABC and write on the sides and angles. Next, write the side opposite the vertex Q of triangle PQR. Draw a small figure PQR and write the side opposite the vertex Q. Here, angle opposite the side LM of triangle LMN. Draw a triangle LMN and write the angle opposite to LM. Here, vertex opposite the side RT of triangle RST. Draw triangle RST and write the vertex opposite to RT. Now, the third question is, look at figure 6.2 and classify each of the triangles according to its sides and angles. Here three sides, two sides are equal, so it is an isosceles triangle. And these three are acute angle. Again, this can be classified as acute angled triangle. Both the ways you can write the answer. Now here, according to the side, it is scaling. According to the angle, it is a right angled triangle. So you can write scaling and right triangle. Similarly, do complete this. Now let us see what is median of a triangle. Here is a triangle ABC. Now let me take the midpoint of BC. Here D is the midpoint of BC. Now let me join a line segment from vertex to the midpoint of opposite side. This AD is called median of the triangle. So we can define median as the line segment joining a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the midpoint of its opposite side is called median of the triangle. Now how many medians you can draw? Take another side AC and find out its midpoint then join from its opposite vertex from BE. So BE is another median. Now let us find out the midpoint of AB and let F be the midpoint join from the opposite vertex C to F. So this for every triangle three median you can draw. You write the side and median of the triangle draw this figure and write the definition and a triangle has three medians also you write. Now we can discuss altitude of a triangle. Here you have a triangle ABC. Now we have to find out the height of this triangle. That means it is a distance from a vertex to its opposite side. Here, AG is one of the distance, but this cannot be have a, this cannot define the height. Here, 
the shortest distance this can be the height of this triangle now look at the measure of this angle it is 90 degree that means this is a perpendicular so this perpendicular distance we can call it as altitude of the triangle so we can define altitude as a perpendicular line segment from a vertex to its opposite side is called altitude of the triangle so we can write the perpendicular line segment from a vertex of a triangle to its opposite side is called an altitude of the triangle now how many altitude you can draw from a you drawn one similarly from b also you can draw an altitude and from c also you can draw an altitude so let us draw these altitudes ch is the altitude from c to ab because it will come outside ab bi is the altitude from b to c so here c a you won't get a perpendicular inside c a so you produce the c a to i to get the perpendicular so if you draw a line through this altitudes you can see all altitudes are meeting in a point it all will intersect each other all the altitudes meeting here in this point so you can draw three altitudes for a triangle so you can write a triangle has three altitudes here is the exercise 6.1 in triangle PQR, D is the midpoint of QR. Then what PM is? PM is the perpendicular. So it is an altitude what PD is. PD is the line segment joining vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Is QM and MR are equal? Obviously it is not. Second question. Draw rough sketches for the following. Draw a triangle ABC and from B you draw a median. BE is the median. Do try it. Again you can draw a triangle PQR. PQ and PR are the altitude of the triangle. That is from PQ and PR altitude means PQ should be perpendicular to PR and PR also should be perpendicular to PQ. So you can draw a triangle in such a way. Here PQ is also an altitude, PR is also an altitude. Both are perpendicular to each other. Now C. In triangle XYZ, YL is the altitude in the exterior of the triangle that I discussed some triangle it comes outside draw an uh, obtuse angle to triangle and accordingly you take yn if you take the triangle x y z in this way if you draw a perpendicular from y to the opposite side definitely it will be exterior of the triangle. Draw it. Now the third question is verify by drawing a diagram if the median and altitude of an isosceles triangle can be seen. Draw an isosceles triangle means two sides are equal. Draw its altitude and draw its median and check whether they, they can be same or not. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.